in Luke 6, uh, Mark 6, rather, in verse 5, he could there do no mighty work, save that he laid his hands upon a few sick folk, and he healed them. In verse 6, he marveled because of their unbelief. And what did he do? He went round about the villages teaching. So we have an assignment to help remedy this problem of unbelief, which is rampant in the church today. It really is, it's out of control, and I know it doesn't seem like it, because we have such strong personalities in the pulpit, strong personalities on the stage or on the platform, and we don't realize that this life of faith actually requires that we have faith. Not programming, not entertainment, not charisma, and it's easy to whip people into a frenzy, but when it comes right down to it, as we're reading through some of these stories, faith is a pretty big deal in getting some things done on the earth. He marveled because of their unbelief. One translation, a modern translation said, he just couldn't believe it, that they didn't believe. He just couldn't believe it. It's like, he couldn't believe it, that they didn't believe. <laughs> they just could, he just couldn't believe it. So the remedy for unbelief, which is directly connected to the mighty things of God, is to properly teach people faith. Properly teaching people faith.